Merry Christmas. My name is Father Meyer, and welcome to a live where we reflect upon the upcoming Sunday passage. Well, Christmas this year is on a Friday, so many of you will be going to Mass on Thursday or Friday, and this little reflection is to help you prepare for that. At Christmas, we actually have four different sets of readings as Roman Catholics. There's a Vigil Mass, a Mass at night, a Mass at dawn, and a Mass of the day. All four of these have different readings. So I'm not exactly sure what reading you're going to get. I'm going to be reflecting upon Luke chapter 2, 1 through 4. Luke chapter 2, 1 through 4, which tells us Luke's account of the birth of Jesus. One thing that I find to be unbelievably challenging in the gospel narrative is the poverty of Jesus. Jesus was born into poverty. I mean, like, really severe poverty. We don't really like to think about that because it makes us feel uncomfortable because mm, most likely if you're watching this, you might be watching on your phone or your computer, which means you have electricity, which means you have a house, which is a lot more than what Jesus had. And we can try to brush away the poverty that Jesus was born into, but let's just be very honest. Jesus was born into poverty. When he was born, he was born in a barn or a cave or a place where animals dwelt. He was wrapped in swaddling clothes. He was literally wrapped in rags. And who came and visited him? Shepherds. Shepherds were the poorest of the poor. That was Jesus' birth. Even his presentation at the temple 40 days later, Mary and Joseph can't afford a lamb, so they offer two pigeons or turtle doves. They're forced to go to Egypt in exile. Fear, really, that the child would be killed as an infant. I don't know what your nativity scene looks like at your house, but oftentimes our nativity scenes have a lot of glitz and glamour. Things look pretty silent, pretty peaceful, pretty beautiful. And yet we forget the poverty of Christ. I was jokingly speaking to a priest friend the other day about this and said, you know, it might be more fitting on Christmas Eve instead of processing down the aisle with a thurible with incense swinging and this beautiful smell that we smell at Christmas and maybe to just have some, pot, some pots or jars uh, or plastic tubs of cow manure processed up the aisle to remind us what Jesus was born into. The reason why this is really important, the reason why poverty of Christ is so important is because we're really broken. We're really poor. And yet Christ chooses to enter into me. And he chooses to enter into your life. See, Christ chooses to come into our brokenness and our poverty and our hurt and our pain. And if we take away the poverty from Christ's birth, if we take away the brokenness from Christmas night, then why would Christ come to you? Why would he come to me? And where will he find his home? But if we remember how bad it truly was on that Christmas night, we recognize that there's a place for him right here and right there. Because I'm a lot more broken than a smelly barn. And that's how much God loves us. Let's look at some questions for you for this upcoming Christmas feast. What's the basic message or story? How often do you reflect upon the poverty of Christ? Does the glitz and glamour of this holiday season keep us from realizing the poverty of the Holy Family and the humility that God became man? Why do we give Christmas gifts? What do you love most about Christmas? What verse, image, or message spoke to you most in today's reading? 
Why does the announcement of the birth of the Messiah to shepherds seem odd? Do you believe in angels? Have you ever seen an angel? Or seen them working in your life? If so, how? I hope these questions help you to prepare yourself and your family for the birth of Jesus Christ. Every Christmas is an opportunity for us to renew our faith in the incarnation, the fact that incarnation, incarnate, in the flesh, that God entered into the flesh, to rejoice in that, to give thanks for that, to give praise for that. May God bless you as you celebrate this Christmas season. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and check out these other videos right here. Our hope at All Saints is that we help you become the saint that God is calling you to be. God bless.